We have exciting news for all the bold and the beautiful fans. Michael Corbett, who showed up as Judge Scott, might just be returning to B and B full time. But will he really come back since he is a very busy man right now? Let's find out in this video. Hey everyone, welcome to Trend Street. You will probably best recognize Michael Corbett as the crazy psychotic villain David Kimball on The Young and the Restless from 1986 to 1991. Did you know he even scored a Daytime Emmy Award? Not for his soap work though, but as a host on the TV entertainment news show, Extra. Now, it looks like he is going for a daytime soap comeback. Corbett made his first bold and beautiful debut on July 21st as the good guy, at least for so far, as Judge Evan Scott. He was put on the case of Sheila Carter as the judge. But how did he end up on the scene and in B&B? Well, it all started with Y and R's 50th anniversary party. He was invited as a guest and partied with his old pals from the show when he was offered the chance to be on Y and R's sister soap. It was reuniting with old friends and wonderful colleagues, and it really was as if no time had passed from when I was on the show, Corbett stated. That night must have worked some magic because it got him noticed again. The big shots at the bold and the beautiful remembered his talent, and the executive producer Brad Bell, the son of Y and our creators, offered him the role of Judge Evan Scott. I mean, how could they not give him the offer? Michael was stoked, and he called up his dear friend Jess Walton, our very own Jill Abbott, to share the news. She was thrilled for him even though she couldn't be there to witness his grand return. Returning to the soap world felt like coming home for Michael. Stepping back into CBS Television City was like deja vu, and he kept almost wandering into the Y and our set instead of bold and beautifuls. He said, when I got to the sound stages, I kept wanting to turn left to Y and R instead of right to B and B. There were so many people I love who I got to see and work with again, like in the wardrobe, and some of the crew from Y and R are working on B and B. It was like a homecoming and everyone was incredibly loving and supportive and it was just so much fun. It certainly sounds like a very fun reunion for him. Michael hasn't forgotten his soap roots, and apparently, others haven't too. His fellow actors even teased him about his iconic soap moments, like when his character David Kimball had the word killer carved on his forehead. His appearances on B&B &B were limited for a bit, but he's dropping hints that he might be back for more drama and mayhem. He said, I fully intend to be reprising. We'll see how they write it and how that unfolds. So, let's keep our fingers crossed for more of him on the screen. Well, although we wish to see more of Michael on The Bold and The Beautiful, he's actually got a full plate. He's still doing his thing as a correspondent for Extra. Plus, he's the host and senior producer of Mansions and Millionaires, traveling the world in style. Oh, and he's also an executive producer for a Netflix show, Life After Death, with Tyler Henry. But wait, there's more. He is also joining the second season of The Disappointments, a comedy drama web series. He's playing a TV producer in the show, and you can imagine how that's gonna turn out. When he's not rubbing shoulders with the rich and famous or filming shows, he's getting his hands dirty with some home renovation projects. He's got a new place in Palm Springs, and he's taking charge of the upgrades himself, from drilling, to hammering, to knocking down walls. With everything going on, Michael's still got time to be ready for the bold and the beautiful whenever they need him. So who knows, we might just see more of his charming face on our screen soon. Thank you for checking this video out. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for new videos every day. Turn that bell notification on if you want to hear from us and comment down below if you've subscribed and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can.